Israel is carrying out this exterminationist rampage in Gaza. I mean, those weren't their words, but basically to that effect. But they can't do anything about it. That's what we keep hearing. They don't have leverage. And what he meant was that they're trapped between their base, you know, the small D democratic base, the people that they're supposed to represent, their actual constituents, especially the, their emerging base among a very multicultural, diverse future America. That, that's what the Democrats play on. And the donor class that has paid for Joe Biden's career. A very mediocre character who lied his way to the top, who is unbelievably corrupt, and a, a, a donor base which has contributed through the Israel lobby at least $10 million to Joe Biden's campaigns, making him the largest recipient of any active U.S. politician of Israel lobby funds. And that's who they're accountable to. I mean, it really shows what democracy in the U.S. is, is Biden's going to choose his donor base over this. He doesn't, you look at, you can look at um, uh, what's happening at Harvard University as a microcosm where Har the Harvard Corporation, which is supposed to be accountable to the financial elite, has refused to hand over Claudine Gay, this pretty mediocre Harvard president uh, who got caught up in this uh, insane anti-Semitism hoax. They're refusing to hand her over as a sacrifice uh, to the pro-Israel lobby and the financial elite because it would set a terrible precedent and she's the first black Harvard president. It would just look terrible. So they can't do it. So the, 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 the big donors, the billionaires like Bill Ackman, he's – I mean, follow his Twitter account. This guy has the IQ of a toaster oven, but he's extremely rich. He's a venture vulture capitalist at Pershing Square. So he has the power of Harvard alumni. He can He's pulling $200 million out. He's building pressure with other donors. That's what would happen to Biden if he started pushing for a ceasefire, is they would try to pull the plug on his campaign from the top. So what power do the people have to pull the plug on Biden's campaign from the bottom? Because Biden... He needs to be made an example of. We're going to see that in Chicago at the Democratic National Convention, 1968, Chicago. There were the riots outside, Richard Daley, Chicago mayor's police riot against protesters of the Vietnam War. They were shut out of the convention. The convention was a complete disaster. And uh, at that time, however, you had... Bobby Kennedy Sr., who was running against the war, who'd basically co-opted Eugene McCarthy's positions, was assassinated, but you had Eugene McCarthy running. There's no way. Uh, Eugene McCarthy was going to end Nixon's or campaigning to end Nixon's war. Joe Bi this is Joe Biden's war, and this is Vietnam. This war on Gaza is Vietnam for the young activist base of the Democratic Party or for, would have been the base of the Democratic Party, the young activist progressive base of the U.S. This is Vietnam. You have Biden is Nixon. They're going into Chicago. Nixon was highly intelligent and devious. Biden is vacant. He stumbles around on stage. Uh, I heard someone describe him as like, he's like a, a Roomba vacuum cleaner bouncing around a room. Maybe he's the cat that sits on the Roomba. It's going to be a disaster uh, and it's possible that the convention will be uh, like the, you see these activists shutting roads down around airports, which I don't think is a wise tactic that could be taking place in Chicago. There's going to be massive police violence. It's going to be a disaster. Uh, yeah. And they deserve it. They deserve yeah. every bit of it. They deserve all of it. And